this is Bryant Dodd from Visions in Gray uh, here with Art Time with Bryant and just like I promised here is a, another video uh, this is building the wall and this is going to probably be the last part of this video series of building this wall here uh, as you can see I went ahead and I shaded all of the wall in uh, and then I went ahead and have taken my eraser and I have went and put in the mortar effects um, just with this eraser here and this is why I like to use this little fine tip eraser here it's a good little tool to use and what we're going to do we're going to kind of finish this out and you can see the difference here uh, between on the left side here where I have just drawn out my little shapes of my little rocks and things and I have just done a shade and done a blend with the blending tool and then I've came back and used my eraser to put in the little mortars in between all the rocks and you can see the big difference as opposed to just leaving it like this drawn out uh, this eraser tool makes a good mortar effect and so let's finish this up and this is basically how I done it and that's why I wanted to show you how I actually done this so what I did is I went ahead and just took my eraser and just run my eraser through these lines here just the little outlines of the little blocks I've drawn and you just basically just take your eraser and you just go over and basically you're tracing over the the lines the outer lines of the blocks is what you're doing and a good little thing that I've noticed while I was doing this was that sometimes the eraser is, is wasn't getting all of the lines out completely and that was really a good thing because it really does give you a little bit of a gray color instead of just a solid white for the most part uh, it gives you a nice little effect here so uh, this is just a simple little process once you have your blocks drawn out and you have them all shaded in just take the eraser tool and then just go right in and start erasing and if you'll notice in the last video I had mentioned that the eraser is is not just for correcting mistakes but it's a drawing tool and this is one fine example that will show you that eraser is a nice nice drawing tool so I'll just take my paper occasionally I have to blow some of that off but occasionally I'll just take my paper and wipe off some of the eraser marks this could be you know a long process if you have a large picture you're working on but it's still worth it I mean it's just all about creating art but it's still it's still worth it now you probably could essentially taken and, and just drawn out instead of creating each individual blocks like I have done here for the rocks you probably could have essentially just taken and, and created a, a line here across to mark the height of your wall and just shaded it all in and then just went back and just created your little block designs with your eraser if you wanted to you could do that but I find that if you go ahead and just draw out the outlines of your rocks and then go back and erase the outer lines like I'm doing now that it gives you a better to me it gives you better control because you have a reference 
line to kind of take your eraser and go over and then you get a better definition of a rock you know that's, that's my preference uh, in my experience with drawing and another reason why I think it's best to just draw each individual block or rock is that when you go in and, and begin to blend these you're blending each individual section or each individual rock itself with the blending stump and you put more detail into it uh, every now and then you can take your hand if you got like a light dust of this eraser and you can get away with just wiping it off a little bit but you want to be careful and, and not to just put, put your fingers in your hands all over your drawing that way you won't get all the oils from your from your skin on the paper because it will at times you know leave a leave an outline and then you can't get rid of that outline most of the time if your skin is really oily it's kind of hard to get rid of that even if you try to put graphite on there and I've done that before even if you try to put some heavy graphite on there to cover up where you've touched the paper it still doesn't seem to work that great but this is a neat little process and if you're drawing a wall yourself from after watching the first video and then you will actually notice it makes it a whole lot better when you take the eraser tool to give this mortar effect with the eraser and one little trick that you can do if you actually find that your mortar through the eraser is too white for you, you you can lightly take take a take a pencil, graphite pencil. And you can just lightly shade a little bit in between the eraser marks there, and then maybe blend it with a blending stump but you want to really do it real lightly if you do that because otherwise you're going to reverse what you have just done you don't want to actually draw any more lines into it because you're defeating the purpose of taking this eraser tool and making your mortar with it but you can actually shade a lot light shade of color into it to give it a little gray tint And we're just about done with the mor putting in the mortar here. And you'll notice, even though this is a fine, fine tip eraser, every now and then, if you're not careful as you're erasing through the lines here, you're tip of your eraser may kind of blunt out a little bit may get a little thicker on the end and this one certainly has but it's it's still okay it's still okay because it's still giving you that effect you're not erasing out your block you're just maybe taking a wider 
portion of the line out that you really wanted to or that you've originally drawn but that's perfectly okay And I do apologize about my lighting a little bit. I notice my lighting is a little bit brighter on the right side than it is on the left side. That's something I've got to work on. Just to get my little studio lit up a little bit more. But there we have it. Now, as you can see, and let me try to zoom down just a little bit more. <clears throat> now, as you can see, you can see that there's a huge difference between the starting of this wall and the finishing of this wall. And it gives it a nice little effect. Uh, <clears throat> what you could do. I'm not going to do it with, with this image, of course, but what you could do instead of lightly shading like I was talking about uh, to darken your whites a little bit, you, you could actually take your uh, tortilla, and this is a blending stump, it would probably be too wide, but you could take a little tortilla and you could probably just kind of put a little bit of a light color of your graphite there in between those if you wanted to just darken it a little bit and you didn't like the effect that you get but I like this effect uh, it's, it's pretty neat it makes a neat wall and by doing this not only does it give you the mortar effect but it actually defines my little rocks individually a little more than what they were defined or what you could see they were defined when I actually have just drawn them out and if I had just left them like that but there's all kind of tricks that you can do. Um, you could even take your graphite. Uh, you could actually erase out a section right in here if you wanted to and have a little bit of ivy dropping down off your wall and, and different things. I, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, I had thought about doing that in the beginning, but I don't think I will. But that's it. Uh, that's how you create a wall and how you place the mortar inside of it and uh, to give the rocks a good definition. So that's going to be all for this part of building the wall. Now I am going to use this same same drawing and build up on it and place me some trees up here, you know, in the in the lawn area, and I'm going to probably place a probably going to take and place a large tree here and some smaller trees right in here I may draw the house that's actually sitting right here in the middle I don't know yet may not may just leave it as a landscape put in some grass with the trees but we'll see how it goes and thank you for watching this video stay tuned for future videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, hit the subscribe button you'll be notified when new videos are available and if you will uh, give me a thumbs up if you have learned something from this video and it's always nice to be able to, to do different videos and teach you different techniques but until this time I will see you later